Ah, yourself, solar cells. They aren't that expensive, but equally, they aren't that cheap. I mean, the price has come tumbling down, but it's a forever search to get more out of your solar cell. And of course, there's a number of ways of doing that. One of them is to cool them so the heat doesn't degrade them, but the primary way is basically get more light on there. Now, two chosen methods are uh, to shine mirrors on or to angle mirrors so more light is bounced in, or to use lenses so you can focus more light on it and you get more problems with heat that way. But of course, light comes in a huge broad spectrum. The solar cell can only work on quite a narrow bit of it, surprisingly enough. You do get something called multi-junction solar cells that will adapt to a broader spectrum, but they tend to be a bit more expensive, in fact, quite a lot more expensive. So, what can you do about this? I mean, wouldn't it be great if there was a wonderful material that took the light we couldn't see, and here I'm talking about infrared or ultraviolet, and somehow transferred it into light we could see, and then directed that onto the solar cell, we should get an improvement. We should be able to supercharge our solar cells with all that light we couldn't be a, uh, couldn't use before. Now, because the reason I'm talking about this is because that is exactly what folks have been up to. If you think about this idea of fluorescence, a material will fluoresce by taking a, a spectrum of light that you can't see taking that energy and transferring it into a spectrum you can see, which is the fluorescence that you see. So these materials already exist. They already exist as dyes. We've all got glow-in-the-dark stuff and fluorescent fingernail paint and the new acrylic paints that are coming out of fluorescent coatings. They're just awesome. So this material already exists. So if you've seen our video 1647, then we used this, which is a light guide from the back of an LCD to bend the light coming in and point it at a solar cell to get an improvement from a solar cell. And I got this Wix solar cell. Now I want a kind of better reading than that. So I'm going to cover most of the solar cell up with some cards so that all we're really reading is one segment of it. So I cover that up, then we get a segment there. And if we have a look at that output with the torch shining on it, and we'll shine the torch on so the torch doesn't move, so the light doesn't move, we can see that we're getting 0 0.868869867, 867, something like that of a volt. If I take my light guide and pop it on there, then we can put that voltage up. Not the most brilliant increase in this condition, but we're still getting an increase. Now, what I've got here is a safety shirt. This particular safety shirt's got two elements. It's got these reflective strips on it. But the yellow here is actually a fluorescent dye. It's been dyed with a yellow fluorescent dye. And if we put that together, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, 100%, that was a bit rough and ready. I mean, we, we hang a shirt on an old cell CD. Well, we took it from 0.8 of a volt to 1.3 volts, and that was really dramatic if you think about it. And I mean, I was only really testing the idea of whether this fluorescence would work like the research papers say it would, and yeah, it seems to work. Now, in my mind, if something works when it's rough and ready, it's going to work better when it's well made. If something doesn't work when it's well made, you haven't got a hope in hell. So the next thing, obviously, is to make a better version, because there are a lot of questions I have, and so I'm sure a lot of questions you guys have, but I wanted to show you that this idea of putting a fluorescent dye on the back of a light guide is going to dramatically improve the solar. In line with 1647, we put the solar cells around it, or we put a stack up on it, or something like that. But I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was an exciting result that such a simple thing would such have, have such a dramatic impact. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it inspires you. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.